My name is Katie Clements and I am the professional lead for children's physiotherapy within Lincolnshire Community Health Services. The children's physiotherapy service have recently been successful to gain additional funding to provide a new area of service to children with long-term complex physical difficulties to help manage their respiratory problems out in the community. So this service has two parts, a preventative element where all children with long-term physical problems are offered a respiratory assessment, a daily chest physio management plan um, is produced and training is provided to parents, carers and education staff so the team around the child become expert in managing the respiratory problems day to day. The second part of the service involves rapid response when the child becomes acutely unwell with a chest infection so this involves a home visit once the parents phoned for help by one of our respiratory physiotherapists. Once they go out to the home, they'll do a specialist respiratory assessment and carry out physiotherapy techniques to help the child clear their chest of their secretions. Cough swabs or sputum samples will be taken to help the child get on the right antibiotics as early as possible. And all of this will help to avoid the child needing to go into hospital. If a hospital admission cannot be avoided, this service is really unique as it allows the physiotherapist to also go into the hospital to support the acute trust with their physiotherapy management. And once the child is more stable, this service can also help to support an early discharge back home. Chloe um, Mayer is our daughter. She's approaching eight. She's born with quadriplegic cerebral palsy after brain injury from birth. She brings a huge amount of joy to us. Um, her smiles break the ice at any occasion. And Jason came around, did every morning daily physios, daily nebulizers, showed us what to do, gave us the confidence in the physio we, we provided to Chloe, gave us the confidence in doing our own treatments as well. Uh, and since then, Chloe's been out of hospital. She's, um, she's got reoccurring chest infections, but we've known how to manage it. We've known how to um, when to call upon Jason and, and the team, um, yeah, it's been great and we know she, he knows her. I think that's one of the key aspects as well because when we go to the local GP, the local GPs are fine but they don't know Chloe and because she can suffer from uh, build up of uh, upper airway noise, it's difficult for them to understand whether it's a chest infection or the upper airway noise. Jason who knows her can tell the difference uh, and really help. I'm really proud that the children's physiotherapy team have been able to expand to be able to offer this service to this population of Lincolnshire. As a team we were really aware that, that there was an increasing number of children living in Lincolnshire with complex physical difficulties where medical technology is now meaning that they are surviving for longer which is amazing. What we're finding is that respiratory problems are becoming more and more of an issue for these children and there just wasn't really a coordinated service to help support them. These children have a lot of equipment at home in terms of specialist beds, standing frames, specialist seating, bathing equipment. None of this equipment is available in hospitals so for them to be able to stay at home when they are unwell it just makes such a massive difference. The feedback that we've received from the families um, has just been incredible. Um, they really um, value the service that we're able to provide and, and we can see that we are making a difference to this population in terms of helping to keep them healthier and out of hospital. If um, you are aware of a child who may benefit from this rapid response service, then please do not hesitate to contact us by phone or email.